Let's news group. This is a Fox 17 weather ready alert. On the heels of one severe weather event last night, now we have potential for more strong to severe storms this evening at about the same time. That moderate risk can upgrade from earlier today well to our south across the mid Mississippi Valley, the Ohio Valley, but we're on the edge of the energy here and in a slight risk, a level two out of five. Yesterday we were in an enhanced risk, a level three out of five. So this is lower threat overall than yesterday. And the primary risk area will be along and south of 96 through 8 p.m to about midnight with roughly the same threats expected. We may see some of these storms linger until about 1 a.m. on the east side, but in general, damaging winds will be our primary threat. A little bit of hail also possible and a tornado, while unlikely, especially compared to yesterday, there is some rotation still lingering in the air, so that's something we'll have to look for. Not going to be our primary threat, though. After this system kicks out of here, though, we are cooler with chances for showers into next week. Definitely not going to be feeling these 80s like we have been the last couple of days, but also that means no severe weather for us either. So we'll take that part at least. Traffic really backing up on this Friday evening on the 131 corridor, but you can see strong shadows. We still have a lot of sunshine out there. Not a lot of cloud cover building in just yet. There is some out over the lake shore, but most of us enjoying that fully sunny sky. Temperatures ranging from 80 to about 84. So a little cooler than yesterday and also with less moisture. But what we have is the system down to the south producing severe weather across Missouri and Illinois and this big low into the upper Midwest and the plains and out ahead of that system, a lot of lightning into Wisconsin. So these storms probably not going to be an issue for us. These two systems are going to kind of slide together and that's going to pinch in some moisture, allowing us to get a couple of these areas of strong to severe storms possible. Looking into the future, there could be isolated storms rolling in from the south around eight to 8 30 p.m. These would truly be very isolated wind and hail the biggest concern, but these could also pose a slightly higher rotation threat going towards 9 30 10 o'clock. We'll see some storms coming off Lake Michigan, similar to last night. These look to be mostly wind and hail producers, but again, just with a little bit of that rotation link around lingering around, we can't completely rule out a tornado by 1 or 2 a.m. All of those storms move to the east side of the state and we are all clear. So once we get past midnight or 1 a.m., we are all done with the active weather for a minute. Temperatures tonight will be cooler than last night as we finally get that push of colder air rolling in. So we'll be about 54 degrees. It's going to be breezy though tonight and tomorrow. Those wind gusts tomorrow, they could be upwards of 30 to 35 miles an hour. So make sure all of your lightweight items are back in the garage or inside so they don't get blown away, whether from storms tonight or just gusty winds into tomorrow. And then unfortunately for us, we do have the chance for some showers tomorrow. They will be very light, but we're not going to see the sunshine probably until we get to Sunday temperatures in the middle 60s for us. And that's where we're going to stay for.